Hi, what if you could transform any article on the internet on any web page and turn it into an interactive reading lesson for your language learners? Well, you can do this with a tool. Uh, it's a Chrome extension called Insert Learning. And as you can see here, I've already inserted this question into this article. Um, this toolbar will help you do this. You can highlight text, which I have here. You can insert sticky notes, questions, and even discussions. Now, this is amazing when you're working online uh, and your student is also working online in their house. Um, this is an amazing tool for that. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, the first thing we do is search for Chrome Web Store or Chrome Web, Chrome Web Extensions. Click the link and search for Insert Learning. Add this to Chrome, add the extension, and it should pop up in the right hand corner here. Here you're able to sign up with Google or with Microsoft. I'm gonna sign up with Google. I already have an account, uh, but I have to do this every time. Teacher, um, I do not have a, well, I have a class already, so I'm not gonna make one now. And there we go. This is the dashboard uh, for your lessons that you created. Uh, I'm gonna delete this one. There you go, you can delete it. You have your lessons and your classes. So this class has a class code which you will need to provide to your students when they want to enter the, the class and uh, get access to the actual web page with your, um, with your with, where it's modified uh, so I'm going to show you that now how, how we can insert uh, maybe insert questions highlight text to help them with the text um, and maybe insert discussions as well so I found this article online and all we do now is just press the extension. Then a blue purple bar will pop up here. Now here, you're able to highlight the text, insert a sticky note, insert a question, insert discussion. So for example, I'm gonna insert a question. Um, so I'm gonna press insert question. I'm gonna click the first paragraph. And a typical question for a reading would be, you know, um, what is the text about? There are question stems, so you can choose them from here. So as you can see, skim the text is quite popular. I'm gonna click that, there you go, done. I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna assign that one point. I'm gonna insert that now here. Um, there's a word here, scrapped, so I want to maybe highlight that text just to help them a little bit with the, with the meaning of the word. And I can uh, give that a, you know, cancel, I think it means. Let's see. Here's what to do if your trip's scrapped. So that would probably be, in this in this context, it'll mean cancelled. Uh, and that would be an adjective. I can write the adjective here as well. Um, you can even write, obviously, synonym, you know, uh, uh, antonyms, just to e e expand their vocabulary. Insert that here. Um, okay, so we're going to continue. Maybe another another question. I'm going to search it here. Maybe it's a reading for detail this time. So you just write the question in, whatever that may be. Uh, insert that. There. Make sure you give it the same value. Maybe one point. Insert that in there. Maybe there's like something sensitive here. Maybe a, a you want them to discuss something. You know, um, so you can click on discussion, put it here. Uh, the question could be, do you do you agree with the above point? There you go, you can insert that there. Good, um, excellent. So now what I want to do is assign this to a student or my class, yeah. So what I would do is I'll click here for more options. Now, I can assign students from here, 
uh, or from my dashboard, the, the class should have popped up. There you go, straight away. And I can assign it from here as well. I like to assign it just from here. Uh, assign students. I've got to choose the class. And then I can just like copy the link. You've got other functions like Google Classroom as well. Uh, but I'm copy the link. And that link's been copied now. Um, if the student has not used it before, they may need to actually um, also enter the class code. So I'll go here. Well, first of all, let, let me be a student now. No, I'll be a teacher and send my student this uh, an email. I'm going to compose an email. I'm going to send it to myself as I'm the pretend student. I'm going to insert the link here. Also, I'm going to insert the class code just in case, which lives in classes here. I'm going to co copy and paste that into my email, for example. I'm going to send that away. I've received it as I'm the student now. I'm going to open that. Open the open the link. And I should get access to the web page. If if the student's not signed up before, it will say sign up with Google or Microsoft, and they'll say maybe enter the class code. They can do that. In this case, it just popped up. I scroll down and and then I can read. Um, I can read the first question. I can you know answer the question. That will save automatically. Scroll down. Oh, there's a word here. What does it mean? Click on that. Cancel. I can write that in my book. Um, Scroll, keep reading, scroll down. There's a question here, I can answer that. Um, that will save, back down. Oh, there's a discussion, I can write my uh, comment here, post that comment. Others then can post here as well. And then you know we can have an dis online discussion. That will be it. Now, as a teacher now, that's all been saved in the cloud. As a teacher, I go back to my dashboard, go to my lessons, and click on the actual reading. And the responses will be directly within the question. Um, if I make my way down to the question, I can view the responses here. Let's view the responses. And there you go. Uh, if the question's correct, you can give them, obviously, the score out of one. Uh, that's it, that's saved. Go down again. Next question, view the response. They got that incorrect, maybe, so that's zero points. Gonna leave that blank, I'm gonna put zero for now. I think that works. Then you can read the discussion of the students. You can also leave comments as well, view the response, provide some feedback. That's a, that's a great idea, that's a great uh, way to do it. And that was it, that is it. Now, um, now I think the student should get an email. Oh, there we go. So insert learning, as I'm the student as well, I've just received an email. It says your teacher gave you feedback on your answer. Oh, okay then. So the student can see the feedback straight away through email as well. So there's no like, you know, sending messages and things like that to your students. Quite simple, really. Um, and that, that's it. Um, I think it's a, an amazing tool uh, when you're working online um, or distant learning. You don't need to like be photocopying. Uh, you can just edit an actual web website, an article, uh, create your own questions. Yeah, okay. Thank you, and that's it. If you have any questions, um, write them in the... Uh, discussion section below. Thank you.